Dance Heights come to Tennant Creek. Um, we're part of the Desert Harmony Festival, but Dance Heights is something that exists outside of the festival normally. It's a regional showcase of all the different cultures that exist here, and the Warramungu are hosts because they are the people that live here. We work really closely with the elders in the community with all the logistics for getting the event together. This is Mrs Nixon. She's, um, she's uh, works out of the Language Centre here in Tennant Creek and we've, she's a respected elder here that we've been consulting with. There's going to be two local groups of Tennant Creek women dancers. Each language group's got different, their own songs and all that by painting up and designs and all mm. that. Yeah, and colours, yeah. When they all dance together, you can tell which different groups got different colours and then country too. Songs, that's how they recognise people, where they're from. And we're at Juno, which is about six k's out of town, and it's where all the performers are actually staying. Having them all stay together in the bush is is a really welcoming thing for them, and they get the opportunity to hang out, to eat together, to talk. Traditionally, at any cultural event, the the visitors would sit on the outskirts of town, and they'd wait for the hosts. The, the Warramungu have to be the hosts for this event. They need to open the country for them. They need to tell them the rules of this country, where they can go, where they can't go. Well, first of all, I just can welcome the people and explain about the events, what's going to be happening that night. Just to say for them that hope they have a safe trip back home to their, back to their communities. As long as you all have a good time here, ready for tomorrow's night. We're glad to see you all here. Mm. The knowledge that is intrinsic in the dances and songs is an oral tradition, and so it's only passed down from generation to generation. With the, with the current social climate we have, which is really dysfunctional, and all those normal pathways of oral tradition are being broken down. So songs and dancers get lost and reinterpreted a lot. The paint-up process is very, very ceremonial. The dance itself is sort of like the culmination of a process which might take four or five hours. And while they're painting up, women will sing the spirit of that song into the dancers and it's the designs that are sacred but in combination with the singing that goes into them is what gives the women the power to dance. The Warramungu are uh, well renowned for the flying fox dance. They've performed that in Algeria. They've travelled internationally with this dance. And the information from the singers that is always directed straight towards the dancers, so outsiders aren't always privy to what what is actually going on. The Munga Munga women are travellers and they travel this country and they're spirit women. A lot a lot of indigenous dances are very short sequences. The songs sometimes they go for less than a minute and it's on a repetitious cycle. There's a lot of subtle movements and unless people have spent a long time looking at that and seeing lots of other dances, that won't be acknowledged. Burulula mob are coming. They're a really strong group um, of men and women. 
Burrula is a town on the Gulf of Carpentaria. So these are saltwater people. There will be a couple of really special dances from the Burrula mob. One of the ladies um, will be performing a dance that has not been seen, that they haven't even seen, and she's performing it solo. Janoa's uh, from Queensland. She's uh, a, a Torres Strait Islander uh, blend. The dance that I'm going to perform tonight is a dance that I choreographed myself, which is more of a contemporary, traditional Torres Strait Island style. Her dance is to do with storms and thunder. She is a professional dancer now, um, but she's getting to the point where she's actually taking on the responsibility of her cultural maintenance uh, from her mother and father. hyped up vibe. There was hooting and hollering and whistles and so much community support. Um, something like traditional dancing everybody participates in. Mm -hmm. 